This tutorial will cover the operation and use of the workspace. The workspace serves as a tool for locating and managing all selected and scheduled talent within your project. To access the workspace, from your home projects page, locate a project with selected or scheduled talent and click it to open it. At the top of the project overview, locate the workspace tab and click on it. This will direct you to the workspace. The workspace is composed of a series of tools at the top of the page, followed by an interactive list of scheduled and selected talent displayed just below it. Locate the Tools button at the top left of the page and click on the Filters button. The Filters button provides you with the ability to search for one or multiple talent by name, agency name, by submission or casting note, or via various filter drop-down options. The View Options button will provide you options to change the workspace selected talent view layout. The Add Talent button will allow you to search for and add talent that are not currently part of your project. The Send Message button works in conjunction with the Filters button. You can send bulk messages to all of the talent in the workspace or just to select talent by using the filters within the Filters button. The Pending Notifications indicator will notify you of any notifications received from agents. You can clear these notifications by pressing the red X. The Talent search bar will allow you to quickly search the workspace for talent by name. The total indicates how many talent that are on display from the total that you have within the workspace. You can navigate to additional pages of talent by using the Change Page Navigation buttons. By default, the workspace talent list is composed of six columns. If the View option to show notes is turned on, this will expand the workspace by two columns to display the submission notes and casting notes. The first column is the Talent column. You can change the talent order from default to alphabetical and reverse by pressing the white underlined talent text. By hovering the cursor over the talent name or headshot, you will be presented with a pop-up that will allow you to access the talent size sheet or their public profile. The representation column displays the representing agent along with their contact number. You can change the display order by clicking on the white representation text. You can also edit the representing agent for any talent by clicking on the agent name. You will be presented with an agency list from which you can choose to set the new agent. The Role column provides the role that the talent is either selected or scheduled for. The Role column list view can be alternated by clicking on the white role text. The role for the talent can be changed if two or more roles exist. To change the role of a talent, click on the role name in the Role column. You will be presented with any role name options that have been made available for the project. Select the new role name and click on it to set it. The Schedules column provides the schedule data for any schedules associated with the project. If a talent is attached to more than one schedule, each schedule that they are associated with will be listed in this column, which can be linked to to view those individual schedules. The Replace Talent button will provide you with any available replacement options. The Status column will update when the talent or agent cancels or confirms their audition time. It also provides you with an override to confirm or cancel on their behalf if needed. Within the Actions column is a group of Actions buttons. The C is the Copy Actor button. Clicking on the Copy Actor button will open the Copy Actor window. This will allow you to copy an actor into any other existing project or role. The CB is the Callback button. This will place the talent into a callback status. You can press this again to undo the action. The A is the Request Avail button. This will open an Avail Request window. Enter one or more dates, a note, and request the Avail. The B is the Mark for Booking button. Press this to place the talent into a Mark for Booking status and press it again to undo the action. The MT is the Move Times button. This will allow you to set a new audition time to move the talent to. The chat icon will open a live chat window where you will be able to send and receive messages as well as review any previously sent messages. You can display submission notes and add or edit casting notes by accessing the View Options button and checking the Show Notes checkbox. The workspace will expand by two columns, providing you with available submission notes as well as the ability to add or edit casting notes.